<laughs> what? So, uh, hey guys, um, Lawrence here, my buddy Andrew with the Dota Brothers. Um, the Dota Brothers. Let's play some Dota. Is let's that play some other Dota. Name? That's how people actually know us. Let's, let's play some Dota. Let's play some Dota. <laughs> so, Andrew, as way of introduction, who are you, Bert? I'm Andre, and oh. I am a Dota enthusiast. And um, that's not a word. Oh, it is a word. It is a word. <laughs> so. Yeah. Don't make me second guess myself, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And your favorite three heroes in the current meta? Yeah, that's right. Um, so right now, my favorite hero is Lina. Lina is OP. She can go from a support to a carry. And because of my uh, hyper-aggressive uh, behaviors, I do like uh, a good uh, Lina. Uh, also that stun, just it's very low mana, early game, perfect for stunning and any, harassing. Uh, any weaknesses? Weaknesses, she's super squishy. She is squishy, she gets, yeah. if you get caught out of place, it's always good to go for that uh, whirlwind uh, item, what's that called? Yeah, Yule Scepter. Yule Scepter, yeah. yeah. Uh, which you, you, it'll save you and, and depending on which heroes are out there, you know, like your your silences, she can, she can just absolutely mm. stop you from doing anything useful. Number two. Uh, would be Dazzle. Dazzle's Ooh. poison is very cool. It's, it's very Good very counter cool. to PL, I heard as yes, well. Yes, yes. So um, you get a shard on Dazzle and you use a poison at hexes and it'll destroy a whole bunch of shards just depending on the So the good against any illusion based hero actually. Yeah, illusion based and, and obviously hexing anyone is always a great thing. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can really throw them off uh, rhythm and, and really do absolute, a actual damage yeah. uh, or, or at least allow your carries to do some serious number damage. Three. Um, number three would have to be Crystal Maiden. I mean, she's playing in the big boys at, at the moment. She's, you know, you've seen her in that top pro league and, and she's great. I mean, she, she helps with mana so much that, that, that one spell just boosts everyone mana, everyone's mana so much. Um, and uh, her ulti, you get, you get a shard with that, um, not a shard, uh, an agnims, and all of a sudden you've got a mean uh, spell with, that you can get into the middle of a fight and freeze and absolutely disrupt and destroy and change games. Nice. <sighs> nice. Well, to add to that, I think my top three right now is Winter Wyvern as both a position five, which is quality at, but also position one, uh, position two mid lane, as we've seen with nine from Tundra. Yeah, what a game, wow. Wrecked with winter yes. mid. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Um, mm. And that's what our tutorial will be on today. Yeah, right. it's a good one to be on. I got lots of questions. And then the second here would be uh, Axe, Axe in the current meta, you know, Manta style shard. Link, you get in there pure damage for days. It's 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 totally it's gonna be changed in the patch. It'll it'll have to be nerfed. And can you believe Dazzle's grave doesn't he have that bit squash? Yeah, just that axe comes in and just crushes yeah. that 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 spell like it's nothing. Yeah. And then finally Mag. Love a mag control being able to bump up carries. I like him as a pos five or as a pos two. So those are my two preferred uh, positions. Yeah. Uh, the reason why the Dota brothers have established themselves today is uh, we want to do a tutorial on Winter Wyvern. Yes, we do. Um, something you want to learn. learn? Yeah. No, exactly. What what uh, what question comes to you for for Winter Wyvern? I mean, it's the same question that you know everyone asked about Lina about you know his ability to, to change from support to a carry, and and you saw him just carry a, a game with with a couple of spells that he used, and, and you know I, I was surprised. I, I never yeah. I never saw it coming. Mostly, he's being played as a support, yeah. um, but I think Nine has shown us in the TI team qualifiers and Tundra that you can play him as a carry. Yeah. So we're going to go through his uh, four abilities. Um, and I'm just going to show you how it can kind of scale, but then Andrew, you ask questions as we go along. Will do, yeah, I know, absolutely. Yeah, let's have some look fun. at that, you know, absolutely beautiful skin there. What is going <laughs> on? Yeah. yeah, that's your skin, yeah. bro. That's a Dota, um, the Dota uh, Mestus um, thing. So the first item that I would usually go for if you're going mid is you want to go for this uh, Orb of Venom. It does passive damage over time, and with this Q, it works really nicely. But if you were support, you wouldn't do that, right? No, no, no. So we're talking uh, specifically we're talking pause, yeah. uh, pause carry, yeah. And then let's just put a, a Wraith Band on. Now, the first item that you want to go is this Arctic Burn. Mm -hmm. Now, from level one, you can pretty much half the game. From almost full health to kind of quarter health. 
So it stacks though. It stacks. Is he able to kind of stop me? Yeah, if you don't hit him, it doesn't stack. Okay, but but if he stuns you or so, he's able to block you or something like that, then yes. you get disrupted. You can't do it like a, a little bit later. Is it like a time? No, 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 it's like an attack. It's like oh, an attack. okay, so it's, it has to continue to So shoot. he's got a Berserker's Call, which is a, a disable, right? Yeah. So if I've got Q here, it's just doing now the Q. Okay. So it's like a right click. It's an attack. Yeah, no, I get that. Okay, so now if you use your Q, but now you're waiting for the timer because you can go over cliffs and stuff like that and you only start hitting now it's only going to do a small portion of damage because it stacks over time yeah so that's what your cue is about so it's a good harassment 100 yeah. percent. now the item build that i recommend let's make this tax uh, this axe a little bit bigger yeah let's make him level eight and let's give him a vanguard and let's put on winter the witch blade which is the item of choice that you want to go yeah. now your cue okay now look at this axe with a vanguard, which yeah. is relatively tanky, and we're only level 4. Yeah. Okay, so let's level up to the same level as the axe, maybe one higher, and we go Q all the way. Now look at this vanguard level 8 axe. And you get halfway through his health, yeah. and you've got distance to be able to attack. Yeah, and that's just the one spell, you know, you, you, you're cleaning up, but like you said, if if people get in the way, you, you've got to make sure that you, yes. you know, position very well, right? Hundred percent. Let's let's add now a core of an orb of uh, corrosion. I really like this item. Uh, let's refresh. Let's make the axe go back to normal again. What is the difference between the like, orb of venom versus the, the the purple one? What is the so the orb of venom? Good question. Is essentially the combination of an orb of venom. Yeah. A blightstone, so yeah. armor reduction, plus a little bit of health. Yeah. So okay. it adds those three things together and it just makes it, it's a good right click ability. So okay. a troll, PA, um, Wraith King, yeah. safe lane carries would often go with that. Okay. Yes. Just splinter blast. Now, if I bring this axe, uh, let's bring another year again. Very well. Now, if I go onto the axe, what it does is it splits off the axe and hits the other creeps. So I don't want to be targeting the, the axe. Because the heat doesn't actually do too much damage. It to doesn't do there. anything. But if I get yeah. it on a creep and the axe is close enough to it, it does Ooh. damage too. Did, did I see two of them hit them or is it only just one? Just yes. one. Okay. But now let's bring um, let's bring uh, this other axe here. Okay, this axe is now a lot stronger, right? Yeah. Now look at the kind of damage that it can do. Burst damage. Boom. Wow, okay. Which is quite strong. And it obviously slows them as well. Huh? Correct. Mm. So it's something you want to target on a creep within range to hit. Yeah. Okay. What's nice is you can be in a, you can be in the jungle and then uh, a, 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 a neutral stack is close enough by that you hit the neutral stack and, it's, and it hits the axe. Or yeah. Hits the hero. So try and use neutral uh, well, monsters to, you know, to actually get some damage across. Yeah? It's a good idea. Let's obviously look at helps with the pull in as well. Correct. Let's look at um, this, uh, which is obviously nice. You've got somebody attacking you. Um, and you just a cold embrace, right? Stops all physical damage. What is physical damage? I've never understood that. If you're looking at a hero, so let's say you're looking at like Sven. Yeah. Sven is a predominantly physical based hero. No. So the reason why we know that is because most of his damage comes from like a Daedalus or when he right clicks he does a large amount of yeah. damage. He does have magical abilities, like yeah. here the Stormhammer is a magical based. Okay. So that is magical but his right click is physical. Mm. So when you're playing against a Sven, mm. a Hood of Defiance is not going to work because he, he just does um, right click. He doesn't yeah. do magical. Now yeah. let's look at a um, AA. But I mean, his, when he's you know, throwing that axe, is that physical damage? No. Oh, the, the stun is magical, that amount of damage is yeah, magical. Yeah, the, the stun is, but his, his normal slash, what, what was that? That's physical. That's physical That's damage, physical. okay. Now look at an ancient apparition, here you've got magical. the cold feet, magical. Yeah. This is just amplifying magic damage. Mm -hmm. This is uh, magical, mm -hmm. magical. Yeah. So him, you need to go, everything he does is magical damage. Yeah. But that, when the spells are going down, right? So if it's spells, it's magical. If it's right click, it's physical. Yeah. Okay. That's not a not what, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. But like you look at, you can go to any of your heroes and figure out what they do. Yeah. Like the bristleback, his cool spray is physical. It's not yeah. magical. Okay. So there's an example of someone who's not. Yes. And look at witch doctor. Um, 
death ward is physical. Oh wow, okay. So if you've got a, a witch doctor, actually let me do that. Let me bring in a, a witch doctor. So the witch doctor has got now max death ward. Yeah. Okay. So what I can do is, let's say he pops his death ward and I go heal. Oh, it's not doing anything. It's not okay. doing anything. Yeah. So it's physical damage. So the example of a witch doctor is, a, I'm a very good counter to witch doctor. What about a troll? Okay. So now troll is attacking me. Heal. He does nothing. Yeah. Even if he comes in. So he's like killing he's me now, right? Obviously yeah. he's doing a lot of damage. Yeah. Heal. Yeah. Can't do anything. You put a couple of data lists on him. Obviously he's going to kill me <laughs> easily. But if I come in there. Is that really what <laughs> If he comes in and he has his ult now. Oh. He does nothing to me. Yeah. That's so, good. So that's the really the, the support. Oh, but then he does lots of you. Yeah. yeah, no, then he eats you. But that's how much physical he does, but I avoid physical. But magical, nothing happens. I think we might be digressing in slightly. <laughs> um, why is winter wavering? <laughs> um, so OP and, and you know, how, how, is, how are people able to carry with him so much? Okay. So let's say you're in the mid lane here and you're against this troll warlord. Mm -hmm. What you can start by doing is just go with your Q. You set up a curse. You're able to lay in a shitload amount of damage, plus then you do a burst of magical. You're basically almost killing yeah. on your own. Now, if we bring in a couple of extra heroes, they will then increase the strength of this um, curse. But really, it's about your Q. So I think, let's jump into a game, yeah. and I can show you a, a real life example. Yeah, no, that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. Okay, so we've got a game from about two nights ago. I was playing with Alperta Villa. Yeah. Did you play well or I think you didn't play well? I don't too. think I played that well, man. <laughs> <laughs> I died a lot. You're gonna see, you're just gonna constantly see on the left there. So Wolf is Lina died. his brother. Um, but we will play with other people if they wanted to. You know, if they pay us enough. I suppose uh, so. We'll have to send invoices and if there's yeah. any sort of default, they're not applicable. And we don't like rages. Everyone always rages at me, so I don't... I'm not so let's have a look at the boys, okay, so who's Ghost? Ghost, Ghost is our silent assassin. <laughs> very, very quiet. Never really talks that much, but... He can turn a game with just like a heavy, absolute carry. Yeah. Yeah. He's got old Coyote, who's... Who's that? That would be me. That would be Andrew. me. Yes, Coyote. I, I'm normally a sport. Like I say, I, I love to die. It's, it's my thing, you know. Uh, Wolf's my brother. Um, you know, he, he can be a flipping good uh, carry. Yeah, he's good. And, and he's really, he knows his stuff. And then you've got Pernert, per, per, Perniskety, I still don't like that new name. Persnickety. Uh, Persnickety. <laughs> Persnickety. Persnickety, we've always called him Crow. Um, he's, he's also, he's the uh, engineer, so yeah. very he's a strange structured, cat, I yes. Think. I think he's the strangest. Not, not, not very aggressive at times. Oh, he's the first yeah. uh, death in this uh, oh, friendly game. Oh, and it was uh, Ghost. Ghost, oh. uh, yeah, unfortunately he fell in hey, nah. as well. Yeah. We all have bad games, hey, I mean... Some of us have more regular bad games. Yeah, I, I, I'm, your de style. I'm definitely not consistent. I should not be making fun of anyone. <laughs> it, it, it can be tough sometimes, but you know the, the point is, is that as long as you're having fun learning, you know, don't have to take everything so personally. We have enough problems. Enough problems as it is. Yeah, as people get in super emotional. So sure, what are we doing? Fast, fast so forward mode. There we got the first blood. Oh uh, yeah, um, I felt like I was on a roller coaster there. <laughs> Okay, we'll slow things down. Okay, so here we got a uh, winter silence uh, combination. This is quite a tough game. I would I would say try and focus more on denies than getting last hits. As long as you're getting XP, it's good. Um, I guess the challenge is that he does a little bit more right click yeah. than the winter. I, I see you. You didn't go for that uh, quilling blade. I find that helps so much when you're trying to deny. And, and I think it's and better form. when you've got a um, oh, melee yeah. hero. He is denying you. So here blind. we can go last last hits and denies. So yeah. he's three one, I'm two zero, yeah. It's tough for you he too. He's eating me at the moment. He is eating you. Oh you took a But I thing. think I think as long as you're not dying as a midwinter, oh, nice. you can kind of out. Yeah, I started getting yeah. a little bit better at it. Sure, um, that speediness was like a dragonfly. I was watching all this like I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, got curse now. This is where we're gonna get the first kill. Nice, and we're going to do it with Invis, I'm assuming. Oh, exciting. We'll see. Let's oh, but I mean, was that a problem? Because, I mean, did you look up top and you thought, oh, okay, no, clearly you didn't. 
I didn't see anything happening where like a rotation for me would have been valuable. Because uh, yeah, so yeah. Now now here's where it's important, right? So I'm inverse. He doesn't know that I'm here. Yeah. I want him close to the creeps because the curse does AOE damage. Yeah. So as soon as he comes close, let's have a look here. You curse him. Start your Q. And now we're gonna do the burst damage with the splinter blast on a creep. Nice. Boom. And that's goodbye. Have fun. So the kill. I've still got all of my resources except for a bit of mana. And now I can push lane. And at the end of the day, this is one thing that I, I find quite interesting. Is you know, then we, we're, we're playing a game here, guys. We've got to yeah. just have some fun, right? So you're not going to be like super concentrated all the time. That's why people can mess up. Let's just let's just have some fun. So every time you've got curse up, kill potential. Yeah. You want to be cursing multiple heroes or multiple creeps within hero. There's the heal, so now the tower will take damage. Your brother rotates. Oh. In. And that is what you call oh, quick kill. Dead. Now, dead, dead, now dead. The, so let's look at items here. I like to go null talisman because that ups your magic damage or burst. Your mm -hmm. lost. Okay. Um, I've just got the orb here as well, just for for that to sustain. That and then poison, yeah. First item, which blade. Have a Has read. Have a, have a read here, quick. Yeah, which blade, and tell me what you think. Um, so upgrades. Let's go, which blade. Causes your next attack to apply poison for three seconds, slowing by 25% and dealing one times your intelligence and you moved it away. Sorry. <laughs> and you still moved it away. No, why was it doing that? Uh, every second and this attack has true strike. Basically, the higher your intelligence is, the higher your damage output will be. Okay, so like an intelligence our world destroyer or, you know, that guy. Yeah, and because I've gone double Null Talisman, I've got much more intelligence. So let's have okay. a look here. I think there might be a fight there. Oh, nice. Right Oops. under the tower there. Are we going to no. smash? Yes. Come get some. Can't do anything. Yeah, uh, a bit of I'm panicking! <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we quickly go actually to this Ogre Magi and see, and see what kind of game this guy's having? No, let's not do that. Why, we, why would we do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you know, the we have to look at the slow. team. Yeah, no, I, I was this. This was uh, a rougher game. I see. I feel like this. Uh, this ability could have been used quite a lot. Eh? Mm. Uh, I actually got shouted at by my teammates. He was under the impression of doing very much for it. So now this is a good example here of where I healed you, but probably did more damage than good. So yeah, I heal, but magic damage, magic damage. It's all coming magic damage, yeah. which. I mean, you still survive, luckily. Yeah, I, no, I, do. I, I definitely do. You got off a uh, bloodlust, which is not terrible. There we go. So now Q becomes permanent. Yeah. And remember, with Q, you can go over trees, over barriers. Mm. I need to use that more. I know there's a few heroes that do that. You know, spider legs. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is a party. Okay, so I got a Q off, which means I can get away from the fight, which yeah. is quite nice, going over over mountains. But it also looked like you were silenced for a bucket, a, a, a bucket of a long time. Silence is, silence is like two minutes, eh? So yeah. But the thing is, they've used now their big ulti, mm. so this is the time for us as a team to say, let's, let's make something yeah, happen. Let's, let's do it. But I mean, you seem to be heading back to farm as well. <laughs> so let's have a look here, right? Yeah, so that's exactly what you're about. No, definitely about to do. But here we scroll. Oh, we, let's let's see what's happening here on the team. So I've got a I've got an illusion here. We can see two heroes. Yeah. The problem is we've got you missing. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm permanently dead in this game. But something that we struggle with sometimes, I find, is um, knowing what objective is the right objective to take next. Yeah. Sometimes we're like, we have a good fight, and then we go to farming. Like, silence is alt is down now, and we're all in the bush. Yeah. We're still staying on our side. Why, why yeah. are we going to do that? No, this you is know, why we lost We've got to show guys. our authority. Yeah. I yeah. Hope there's a fight coming here, because I'm getting a bit agitated now, watching 28 minutes in, we're just sitting here doing nothing. This is what I was, yeah, and look, it's, it's understandable. We've got carries that are play, like to play more defensively have to get their things online. Oh, smoke play. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, nice play by, I think that was Wolf, who set that up. You can see silent, uh, snipers in the game. I like mm -hmm. that Pashnikiti's up front. Yeah. He can, he can start there to cut. There he is. Boom. Oh, oh. Nice, he's getting a good link off though. Yeah, no. Crow was doing damage. Okay, quick kill on the sniper. Yeah. That's nice. That's a big win. We should actually go uh, direct 
camera. Let's just see what's happening here. Okay, I think it's a bit aggressive. Chase yeah, this is a bit aggressive because the rest of the team oh, is only here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, no. That was a bit of a over play. This is a bit far in. Don't yeah. worry, I got loads of those. Uh, yeah. Again. I've got to be Not honest, this uh, main is elemental is good, bro. He's, yeah. uh, he's got his uh, um, Aether Lens, he can do an ulti from very far away. None of us have Lincoln Sphere. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that he kind of turned the fight here. Ghost is going oh. on him with a Monkey King. Uh, Ooh, quick sleep. Doesn't seem to be in the right camera. And now here he's going on. But I thought with we, that, oh, uh, with that can, yeah, you can see I kind of run in here trying to help, and there's me running my ass. Run, away, virus, uh, run! And even is with this, a, uh, you were haste. Yeah, I had yeah. haste. I was trying to, you know, space created, I suppose. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just, you know, it, it's one of those points where you're like, should I go in? Should I know? Should I go in? Should I go? In? I got haste. I should probably go in. <laughs> um, I think, guys. The, the, the learning for me here is our level games, 3, 4, 5k MMR, yeah. this is where people lose games. You're ahead, you don't take advantage. That's it. It's, and it's true. Razor was getting frustrated, he pushed too far because he was trying to force a fight. Yeah. Instead of, we should have been up there quicker. Yeah. We, here comes the little pango, jump in. Stood there for a while. Now he'll kill the thing on his own. Yeah. And there we go, Ghost is, in, is, is going in. Uh, that silencer with a with a, a double damage is dangerous, man. So that's pretty much the game, bro. Um, I mean, I'm just going to take you right into the end. Unfortunately, we did lose this game, but these were my final items. So um, mm. I have Scotty for a little bit more slow. Uh, yeah, we're all dead now. So unfortunately, we do lose this game. But it was a fun time. I mean, we all played well. We had a good time. And I certainly lost, uh, learned a lot about uh, Winter Wyvern and, and, you know, how to play him. Uh, it's, it's one thing to, you know, see him in yeah. the hero picks, but it's, you know, to ever think that that hero might be something worth giving a, a, a shot. So I think, I think in the future I'm definitely going to give him a shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I played well. I didn't I play well. well. <laughs> I didn't play so well at all. So let's have a look here. Um, so... I mean, one of the things that you're looking at when you're playing carry winter is that this number is not very high. When I play a support, I want to be going 20,000 heal mm. in a game. But obviously the damage when you're playing the carry role, that's what you're there to do, you know. Yeah. So I, I still got quite a lot of last hits, um, mm. damage dealt. But yeah, look, I mean, the silencer came online, eh? 48,000, sure. got his items and the reason, he had space to catch up. Yeah. And that, I think that's the big lesson is that as much as you can play a great hero, teamwork makes the Dream work. It is dream work. <laughs> I, I'm sure I was. You're gonna let me answer. You're gonna throw so out a Andrew, question. Andrew, I'm gonna let you ask one more question. Make it a good one. Uh, one more question. One more question. Um, if you were to do something differently in this game, what would you do? I would um, have let the razor make the call and followed him. He was strong. Yeah. He was 11 for zero. He ends up 13 for seven. Mm. He was unkillable for a long time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys enjoyed this. Hell, I enjoyed the shit out of this. It's yeah, bad. this was fun. Um, yeah. So I'm not too much of a douchebag. No, I, I think you were just you were just right. Uh, I think you explained everything, and I now understand how to play Winter Wyvern. And I think if people are looking to understand it, this might be interesting. You know, there is a little bit of skipping and. Uh, so I'm sure some good editing coming, <laughs> which that'll probably be one of them. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think it, it was a lot of fun, and, and the whole idea, again, is I can't, I can't say it enough, is it's all about having fun. So, so closing down. remarks is that it's having fun. Yeah, having fun, you know. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> uh, Stay safe, San Diego. <laughs> Stay safe, San Diego. <laughs>